I am the Grim Reaper. I am the Grim Reaper and I come because I caused death. And that's what y'all did when that dude put Kimber in her place on Sunday best. <laughs> I'm telling you, that dude, he really like, look at my hair now. He put, uh -oh. I've been brushing my hair. Because then somebody click in the middle of the video and be like, you need to brush your hair. You shouldn't talk about anybody. You know how these queens come on my videos and, and start talking crazy. And I have to get you out of that. But um, Sunday Best was crazy today. Like, it was, to me, I like Sunday Best because it's so funny. Like, I laughed, like, through at least at least 60% of the show, I was laughing. Because it was, like, stupid. It was, like, foolishness after foolishness after foolishness. Like, people actually think they can sing, and people really can't sing. A lot of people try to sing like Kim Burrell. And that's why they put her on the show. Because people do not sing like the way they really sing. They sing how they think Kim Burrell would sing. And it's the most annoying thing in the world when I hear that. Like People mess up their voice trying to sound like Kim Burrell. And I'm glad that she's on the show to put them in their place. But anyway, so today on Sunday Best, um, it finally came back. I'm, I'm actually glad that it came back because it's a great platform for gospel artists. Um... People came from around the country to audition for this gospel talent competition. It's like one of the highest rated um, television shows, well, reality TV shows, talent shows in the country. And gospel music can say they have one of the top shows in the country. I think that's a great thing for gospel music. So that's why I like Sunday Best because <clears throat> it provides that opportunity for gospel artists. Even if like they're, they audition, they still have that exposure that they wouldn't have had. I'm glad Yolanda Adams is back because she is honest and a lot of people kind of don't like the way she approached people. But I think that she is really doing a good job, especially this time. Like she told this girl, um, no, she told, was it a girl or a dude? But anyway, she said um, that last change you did did not sit well with my spirit. Like she said stuff like that. Cause she tried to be nice with it, but Kim Burrell would be like, "You were flat, and you were flat, and you were awful." Ha ha ha! And then she started laughing. That's why I like Kim Burrell because, like, she's she was honest with these people. These people need to be told the truth because, to me, if you have the balls and the cooch to come up in front of America and say, "I am the Sunday best. I am the best singer, gospel singer in America," if you have that balls and cooch, the the, the vag and the nuts. To come up in an audition and say, I am the Sunday best. To spend your rent money and have that, the audacity to believe that you are the Sunday best. I believe you should be able to take criticism. Because that would that takes some kind of pride for you to even think that you are the best. And that you deserve a record contract. And that you deserve to be listened to, to be heard on the radio, to be heard on an iPod to for somebody to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into you, you have to have some kind of pride in you. So you even think that um, that you're that type of that you deserve that. So for the people that's like complaining and saying, well, you don't need Sunday best let me tell you, look, you need to be criticized if you are thinking that you are the best person in the country. Because most people just are not. Um this dude came in the Sunday Best audition and told Kimbrell off. Like he told her pretty much that she was too mean, that she uh, used too many um, negative words against people, that she laughed while people were um, auditioning. I laugh. Like we all laugh, like when people can't sing. I think that the editing <clears throat> is actually catching some moments that they actually don't have to show like because when people audition for anything like you laugh even on american idol like they will laugh like throughout the audition like because people that can't sing are funny like we all know that so i don't i don't understand like why people are so mad that she's laughing it's like well she's supposed to be a minister she's also a, hum a human being I'm, I'm laughing at you i remember when i was in gospel music like when i was doing like concerts with people um 
I would laugh like because I wasn't exposed to people that couldn't sing when I was like younger or in church. I really didn't, wasn't exposed to a lot of people that couldn't sing. So when I started going to concerts and seeing people that had enough um, balls to get up and sing, even though they couldn't sing, when I started seeing these kind of people, I would laugh at them because you, for you to even get up and think that you can sing, like to me, like you deserve to be laughed at if you sound a mess and you're not prepared. So. Uh, I think that Kim Burrell is being herself and that she should continue doing what she's doing. I think that she's doing a good job um, at mentoring these people and at telling these people the truth. Because I would, I want somebody to tell me that I sound a mess <clears throat> so that I won't keep spending my rent money to come up here to go to D.C., to go to Atlanta, to go to Houston, to go to Chicago, L.A. or wherever, uh, to audition. I want people to tell me the truth so I don't keep spending my money and keep um, wasting my money that I can spend on investing into something else uh, for my family or for my life, um, for the artists. Now, I have something to say to the artists. They keep going to these auditions. When you go to these auditions, this is a TV show. You are auditioning. like You are not auditioning for a record contract or to be on a show. You are uh, auditioning to be on a TV show. Put that in mind. You are not auditioning for a gospel music competition. Put that in your mind when you go to this stuff. And I gave advice to somebody, and they followed through. I'm not going to say who it was, but I gave advice to somebody for, for Sunday Best, and I told them what to do. And they were on this, this show. They were on this show right now because they took my advice. They were on this Sunday Best. I'm not going to say who it was. Um, and they got... TV time, like more TV time than a lot of people because they did what I told them to do. And I'm telling you, go like this as if you're auditioning for a TV show, not a gospel competition, because they want a story, a good backstory. They want a good visual because I, I did TV um, before I started doing like digital media and online stuff. Uh, they want a good backstory. They want a good uh, visual. They want people to be able to, to identify with you or to laugh at you or to empathize with you, sympathize with you. They want that emotion. So they want all of that to happen, one of those things to happen when you are on the screen. If you just come in and you can just sing regular, you're not going to be on the show. And you're probably not going to make it um, through the, to the, on the show or on the competition. So you have to go with that in mind that it is a TV show, not a gospel competition or singing competition so um do those things i said and also even if you get through and are on the show have in mind um to have some kind of kind of promotions or marketing like why would you go on this show and have this audience but not like release a single like when you're on the screen like i'm telling you like if i was on the show i would, le would release a single on that day that i know i'm going to be on the show i would not sit up here and have all these people watching me and not release a single because your single is what's going to advertise you even more uh, to get gigs. And that's what actually pays your bills are, are gigs, not single sales. Like nobody buys singles anymore because they can play it on Spotify. They can play it on YouTube. Like nobody buys singles anymore. That's just a promotional item to get you more gigs and to get you more exposure. Uh, you need a website. You need social media um, following. You need that connection with people and that promotional tool that's free uh, to get your message out there and to get your name out there um, i hope people follow these basic things and i hope that people um, keep watching the show because i like the show and i hope it continues i just don't like when people act as if the show is supposed to be a church um competition or like a like a Holy Ghost explosion or something. I don't know. But what do y'all want? Like, really, what do y'all want from Sunday Best? Like, because everybody complains. Like, what do you want? I don't know if you want the show. Do you want them to have a praise break? Uh, like, like lay hands on people? Like, 10,000 people audition for the show. There's like 20 people that can be on the show. They don't want, they don't want nobody real on them. They don't want nobody real on them. 20 people are on the show. And you want, out of 10,000 people, 20 people on the show, like, everybody can't be on the show. Like, who are you? Like, why why should they pick you? You have to... See, that's why I can't talk about it, because it annoys me when people try to act like this show is supposed to be, like, deliverance 
um, TV special, A Holy Ghost Explosion, 2014. What do y'all think about the show? What did you think about the um, season premiere? Um, comment, subscribe. I'm at Right Champ on everything on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Right Champ. All right, bye. Okay, bbcore.com. Bye.